With age, the human immune system becomes less effective at tackling infections and less responsive to vaccinations. As a result of this, the aging immune system is associated with chronic inflammation, which increases the risk of almost all conditions linked to old age. But of course, with the right exercise, diet and health care, you can help maintain healthy immunity into your old age. Today, we're going to be chatting to Dr. Duncan Carmichael from the Institute of Healthy Aging on how we can best care for our immune system as we age. We also have Nicole Austin joining us okay. as the health correspondent. Now, Nicole, as we do discuss basically how the immune system sabotages us and goes against us as we age. It's so lovely to have you as a pharmacist, you know, just backing the conversation. Well, I think as you get older, you immediately associate the word aging with your skin or your crow's feet. But it's so much deeper than that. It mm. goes to your overall health. And I think this is such a critical conversation. Absolutely. So let's dive straight into it with you, Dr. Carmichael. I mean, why is it that our immune system becomes less effective as we age? Hi, team. Thanks for having me. Um, so it, it's the immune system is a, is a wonderful complicated system and we might often think of it as a scratchy throat but really it sort of comes down to our white cells that run around the body looking after um, the body and fighting infections as they come in so as we age there's a couple of things that can happen and start to go wrong so in our 40s and 50s our adrenal gland or our stress hormone gland can start to become a little tired. Um, so things like working too hard, not sleeping enough, even over-exercising um, can, can lead to an adrenal, what we call insufficiency. And that often leads to the beginnings of more scratchy throats and immune system problems. But really as we age further than that, in our 60s and 70s, our white cell counts, our bone marrow makes white cells and the white cells go around and, and really get rid of nasty infections our white cell count from our bone marrow can start to drop off. Mm -hmm. And as that starts to drop off, we can have sort of real immune problems where we can't mount a good response um, against an attack from an infection. Mm. Absolutely, and I think, Doctor, that is what a lot of people ignore is the fact that it's not just the outer signs of aging, it's that deep cellular aging. And tell us, Doctor, what type of complications do we see with an aging or compromised immune system? So, Nicole, we might start to see that we get a worsening of something where we have a slight weakness already. So if you start to get a sinus, if you have a sinus problem, you might find that you get a worsening of a sinus problem. It could be if you get skin rashes, eczema, you might start to get infected eczema. If you get bladder infections, you'll know your immune system's weakening because you're getting worsening or more recurrent bladder infections. So whatever our weaknesses, we notice that there, there's a worsening of it. Um, so that's usually the first place that we notice that there are problems with the immune system. Now, at the top of the conversation, you know, Nicole, I was speaking about this chronic inflammation. So, Doctor, can you please tell us more about this inflammation and what causes it? So, Pally, inflammation is a very important part of our immune system. So, for example, if our throat is sore, it's inflamed. Mm. If we get a little bit of sunburn, that's the skin inflamed. And that's the first part of the immune system sending out messages to the rest of the immune system, the white cells, to say, guys, come on in here, we've got a bit of work to do. However, if there is an overactive immune system or an overactive inflammation system, for example, myself, I'm asthmatic, so that's overactive inflammation in the lungs, then that can send out too robust a signal and the lungs can tighten. And um, so we, we've all heard of um, inflammation with COVID and... Um, and, and, and an overactive inflammation system in COVID. And that's part of the same thing. Um, a white cell or, or, a, or immune system that's being over robust in its response um, to a problem. Certainly, Doctor. You know, this buzzword inflammation, it's spoken about all the time and uh, often overused but misunderstood. Can you tell us how do we actually address this inflammation and treat it so that we have a better outcome with our health? One of the, the, the best ways to look at things is to, to look after what we call our adrenal glands. So if we were to optimize our sleep, if we were to cut out sugars or perhaps too much coffee from our diet, if we were to do short, intense exercise as opposed to a long marathon, all of those things would start to reduce inflammation in the body. So our sleep, 
our eating habits and our lifestyle um, things that we do would all reduce inflammation. That's all very important for all of us because mm. at the end of the day, I think the last year has highlighted that we want to be in optimal health so that if we do get infections, we can treat it and attack it in the right sort of way. Now, Doctor, if this conversation is just sending those alarm bells to our viewers right now, what can those in their senior ages do to help with their aging immune system? I mean, is there a specific diet, exercise, or of course those health tricks that we should be looking at? So I would suggest that if necessarily looking at diet, the first thing to do, the easiest thing to do is never drink a drink that's got calories in it. So anything with sugar in it is going to inflame us. And the easiest way to get our inflammation up is to drink calories. So if you don't like water, you'd have sparkling water. We try and avoid too much of the alcohol, too much of the fruit juices, too much of the, 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 the fizzy juices um, would be the first thing. Um, the next thing is we should really try and get that circadian rhythm right, mm -hmm. where we are awake and happy and in sunshine a little bit in the day, and then at night time we're going to bed at the same time, sort of 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, getting our eight hours sleep in and waking up the next day, not going straight onto a computer and working, but getting outdoors and getting into the sunshine, which gets our whole circadian healthy anti-inflammatory rhythm going. Well, you know, it seems like with great health comes great sacrifice as well. Thank you so much, Dr. Carmichael. I mean, Nicole, any final thoughts from you? We all kind of know the right things to do, but I think this is so pertinent to remember why we're doing it, so that we can age healthily, so we can get fewer infections as we age. Yeah. So I think a, a healthy reminder to do what we know we should be doing. Absolutely. Well, here is to cutting out those calories in our older age. Thank you so much, Dr. Carmichael. Goodbye. Bye. Thank you. Now, I'm very excited about this next part because, Nicole, our viewers should know very well about the 5,000 Rand that we're, be we're going to be giving away on a weekly basis. How excited does that make you on a weekly just to say, you know what, now, nah, Zanzi, the money you need? I think it's the perfect time of year, first of all, for South Africans to get an additional 5,000 Rand. But yeah. per week, that's something. This is huge. So, Mzanzi, if you want to find out how you can get in on this winning action, we want to find out from you, do you have a survival story? Well, then we want want to hear from you. Share your survival story with us from surviving a failed parachute to escaping a lion attack. We want to hear your story. Imuenza is giving away 5,000 Rand a week for five weeks. All you have to do is reply to the Imuenza competition post on the Afternoon Express Facebook page or Twitter page and tell us your survival story and what protected you using that hashtag Imuenza. The competition closes tonight at midnight and terms and conditions can be found on afternoonexpress.ca. Help support your immune system for your next big adventure with Immuenza.